Hey guys, it's Beauty Queen. I know I'm quite zoomed into my face at the moment, but it's because I'm doing my 2019 makeup video. This is the first makeup video of 2019. I can't believe we're actually here. I know I've already got some videos out from 2019, but I still can't believe we're here. So I'm going to get right into it. So first things first is I'm going to prep my skin with e.l.f. Tongue tied. Elf Tone Adjusting Face Primer. It is the green one. I know they have different colours. You guys know this is one of my favourite makeup products of all time. And if you don't, well, it is. <laughs> and then I'm going to get my foundation by Mickey Beauty Brush. I need to clean it. I need to clean a lot of my brushes. And I'm going to put it on my face. I do have a lot of more makeup videos coming out, especially when some products come. I'm waiting for some products in the mail for a video, which I'm super excited about. Please note that it goes a, a little goes a long way. I did two squirts, and it has done my whole face properly. Now I'm going to use my Wake Me Up. Found, not foundation, um, concealer, sorry. And I'm going to put it under my eyes because, you know, black eyes. I also have another product I sometimes use, which I will be using in this video, which helps with black eyes as well. But I just apply a generous amount to my under eyes. And then any pimples I have, I will be doing this again. Just so, especially if you're going to a out or something and you need to cover all those little tiny imperfections you can don't normally have all around here at the moment or if it's like any discolorification of the skin that you don't want to show through you can also do it for that so I'm going to use I need that. I've got the wrong lipstick here. I'm going to use which one? I'm going to use my little tiny pinky one and I'm just going to blend it in. Make sure it's all blended in. You don't want it to be this even. So now I'm going to take my Simple Kind to Eyes Reviving Eye Roll-On and put it under my under eyes as well, over the top of the concealer and let it dry. Right. Elf. You can use any foundation. I have tried multiple foundations and I'm really liking Elf at the moment, so I'm going to use Elf. It is summer, so this has sunscreen 15 FPF. So, one, two. I just like it. Don't know why. I'm going to use this cool swirly one and put it all over my face. I'm going to start with my cheeks so that my eyes still dry. And I'll slowly put it over. Make sure to blend it well. I don't know how many times I've seen people not blend it well and it looks so bad. Especially if it's you're quite lot like your skin's quite light and you put on a foundation that's too dark for your skin, you can definitely tell the difference. This is just one shade too light for me. Which I kind of like. Just for the fact that I'm like I'm ivory and they, it's really hard to find ivory but it's not so hard to find light ivory. So I use light ivory which is just the shade darker than what I am. And it works fine. A little does go a long way with most makeup products guys mm, 
What am I missing? My neck. I just realised I can't find my battery charger and this is on 1%. My camera is on 1%. This is horrible. Right, now I'm going to go back in with my concealer. And just this time put it where my pimples are. Like the imperfections I want to hide. Sweet. Now I get my OXX Cosmetic Makeup Setting Spray, Rose Hip and Vitamin C Oil. And I put it from a distance. So I'm putting it from about where my camera is now and squirting it. And then I just shake my head. And how it seems weird, but I do it hurt. Now I get my Sex Perfecting Base complex kit and I want all three of them out but we will not be using this one just yet first we're going to do lip prime and plump I like to like tease it onto my lip like this I feel like it makes it a bit bigger I don't know but it's just how I feel and do it you don't have to do it the same way as me and then I'm going to put my eyelid the, my eyelid primer on as well so that when I do my eyelids, which is the next thing on my list, I look good. Now I'm going to just rub this in with my hand. Now while I let my face set, I go in with the W7 Delicious Natural and Be Berry eyeshadow palette I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes this is just the one I'm obsessed with at the moment I have this little brush here that I use what I first do is I use this colour here I don't know colour names this colour here it's like a light colour that has some sparkle to it and it just nicely goes on and I put it on the edge here of my eye Sorry that you can't see this. I'm just trying to make sure I get this right. And then I go in with the darker shade below it. And put it on the rest of my eyelid. And like blend it in a motion with the other colour. Sweet. I'm just going with my eyeshadow white just for the look with the sponge eyeshadow brush and I just put that in the corner of my eye here just so it has like a highlighting effect talking about highlighter we go in with contour I only use the brown part of the stick because I have another one I use and I just put it on my cheekbones, my sides of my nose, my chin, my forehead on the sides and then I do a bunch of lines all across. And I blend it in with the same foundation brush we use for the primer in order of how I put it on and I said I don't go like this I do it like that just so it heads into my hairline so it just disappears naturally I'm scared my camera is going to go flat guys I have to pre-film so many videos with my nose, I do go like that though. And then disappear into my hairline, please. Disappear my hairline, please. Sweet. 
Now I go in with the Color Code Concealer under my eyes, which you can't really see very well because it's like the same shade above where we just did and in the T-bone of my nose. And I go back in with the exact same brush we just used again to put this in, in the same sort of um, way that we blended it in as well. I roll my eyelashes. I don't do it too long just because it hurts me very a lot. I get my sex under eye brightener to a couple of dots either side and then carefully pat it in with my finger. Right. I get me. I don't know I said it like that. <laughs> I get the highlighter palette and the big fan brush. And I'm going to be using Lust, which is the one next to the white. And I just get enough on my brush, a lot on my brush, and swipe. I don't look in a mirror, I just swipe and hope I get it right. And I normally always get it right. I do have another one I normally use, which I can't find. Haha, <laughs> fell on my floor. And I put it on my nose for the, and my cupid's bow. And then I go back in with my little brush here and go. Da -da 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 I make sure my highlight is even, obviously. <laughs> then I go in with my Nutramedics brush here, don't know what it is. And go in with my Revlon 06 Naughty Nude Blush. I do one swipe across, smile, put it on. Like that. One swipe across, smile, put it on. Right. We are almost done, guys. We do my eyelashes because girls just want to have fun on. Sorry, I just put that on my nose. And we do my upper lashes. So with the lower lashes, I did the Maybelline Real Impact. For my upper lashes, I do Revlon Ultra Volume. And I will use a thing for this one. Mirror, I mean. And I do it kind of like a... Like that. To get it on. And it's, I just put it on my nose again, because I'm a silly person who doesn't know how to do makeup, apparently. Now I get my lip product that I want to use for that colour, that uh, the lip colour I want to use for the, that day. I'm using the Knock Off Leander Matte Lipstick, which kind of has that Jeffree Star dribble thing. And I put it on my lips. Now I do something different here, so just wait. Now that it's on my lips, I get the Wake Me Up again. And I put it just here in the center of my lip. I'll show you. Like that. And I put them together. So that it has that white spot. I'm obsessed with this look at the moment. And then what I do is I get some calico and I use the sunset and I just put it on there. Until it dries it out. And now my lips are cool. And that is my face for 2019.